had said, tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So the Lord said, tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So he's telling you something before the Sabbath takes place. Read it slowly again. Brother, sister, come over here and ask a question. We want to show you what the Lord is saying in the Bible in order for you to understand in these last days what's going on. And the reason why we're blind is because we don't keep God's laws and commandments. That's right. Read that. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord had said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Tomorrow. So it's telling you something. Tomorrow the Sabbath is coming. So he wants you to do something. What does he want you to do, sis? Do you know? Brother, do you know? Keep the day holy. That's right. That's right. You're supposed to keep the day holy. But we're showing you a law that says you're not supposed to cook. Because a lot of our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are going to go right home and cook that food they just bought at the store. All right, read that. Tomorrow is the rest, the holy Sabbath to the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today, and see that which you will see. And that which remains over, let up for you to be kept until the morning. So again, brother, sister, come over here and look at the sign. Find out who you are according to the Bible. Do you know your nationality? Do you know who you are according to the scripture? Oh, you're an Israelite? Yes. Oh, you know that, right? Yes. Do you know the laws? No. Okay, we're going to teach you the laws because it's one thing to say you're an Israelite, but you don't keep God's laws. That is, that is not, you do not do that. You cannot say you're an Israelite and you're not trying to keep God's laws. And we're going to show you this. Do you know who you are as far as nationality is concerned? Look at this. Judah. You're Judah. You're from the tribe of Judah. All praises. That's, That's right. great. That's great. That's what we want our people to know. We bringing out who you are according to the scriptures. We're going to show you how we got in this condition. Give me your mind sometimes. Because we lost our heritage. Says, brother, brother, if you mind, just come on over here and look at the sign and find out who you are. Okay. okay. But see, he's the head. He needs to come over here. Are you married? That's not. I would assume no then. Okay, well, he's supposed to keep the laws. He, he will be a head if he's married. All right, read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Sis, come back. I'm going to show you something here. This is important because by you coming over here this day, you're being witness that you understand that you're an Israelite. That's right. So you got to know what happened to us and why we're in this condition we are in. So you won't walk around confused as to what happened to us and why we're suffering these, in this condition that we're in. Okay, again, read that again. You got to pay close attention because this is important. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. We lost our heritage because we broke God's laws. All of this that's going on in this world today is because the, the children of Israel broke God's laws. Right. And the Lord did things to us for that. And our people do not understand that. The Christian church has lied to us and told us all types of lies and did not tell us what we're supposed to do as far as these laws are concerned. Sis, you got a question? I'm going to show you. Again, you got to find out who you are. Don't walk away from this I at this time. I know who I am and who I am. Okay, you know you're tribe of Judah, but do you know the laws that you're supposed to keep? I will, I will learn when the time is right. This is the time. That's you see right. this all going around here, people panicking, running up and down the street trying to get panic. food. I'm not Trying to get water, but the Most High is giving you this knowledge today to bring you back to his laws and commandments so you can be saved in the last days. Read. That, that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. This is why we're here today, because we broke our laws, and the Lord said because we break his laws, we're going to serve our enemies. That's right. This is what we're doing today. This is why we're sinning today. Because we are serving our enemies. Our enemies tell us you can work on the Sabbath. Right. Our enemies tell us you can buy on the Sabbath. Bring it out. Our enemies tell us you can do whatever you want on the Sabbath. You can party. You can drink. You can get drunk. You can beat and fight and destroy on the Sabbath. The, well, come over here. I tell you. Let me tell you who the enemy is. The enemy is the person that put you in this condition. If you come over here and look at the sign, I'll show you closely. If you look at the sign, I'll show you closely. I'm going to show you, sis. Pay attention. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies 
make a tumult, and they that hate thee, lift it up the head. So our enemies make a tumult. They make a noise against us. They make plans against us, such as this so-called coronavirus. The reason why you don't understand is because you don't know your, her your heritage. I was trying to explain that to you so you can get a clear understanding. Your enemy is right before your face. That's if right. you will come over here and look at the sign, I can show you what they did in order for you to understand why they're your enemies. Who put you in this bondage? Who brought you to this country? If your father is so-called African-American, how did he get here? How did he get to the Americas? Do you know that, sis? How did your father get here to the Americas? How did, they, how did we get here as black people? How did we get here, sis? Through slavery. Well, the Lord talks about that slavery in the Bible. Right. He talks about how we would go into slavery and lose our heritage because we broke his laws. This is what the Lord is saying to you today. But don't deny it. Come over here and see the visual. See the picture because a lot of our young people, they don't understand the visual. They haven't seen roots. They haven't seen 12 years of slave. They haven't seen any of that. But they watch what you call... Love hip hop. Hip hop artists, R&B artists, you'll watch them all day long and follow them. The Little Wayne's of the world, your Beyonce's, you'll follow them, but you won't follow the laws of God. Right. And you won't listen to the laws of God. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and concerted against thy hidden ones. So they took crafty counsels against our people. This is what your enemies did. And I'm gonna show you what happened. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 68. I'm going to show you what happened. Right here, we went into slavery. Is that correct? Is that correct? You know that history? You know how we got here? We got here on the slave ship. That's right. This is in the Bible. This is what the Christian pastor haven't taught you. We got here on a slave ship because we broke God's laws, and it's written in this book. I'm going to show you. You got the visual right there. You see the picture with the, the pamphlet? Look at the picture, then. You got a picture in front of you. That's what happened to us because we broke God's law. I'm going to read it for you. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Brother, in the blue jacket, come over here and hear the words of God. Come over here and find out who you are according to the scriptures. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. So the scriptures say the Lord shall bring us again to Egypt. Egypt means what? Brother, do you know what Egypt means? Brother across the street in the blue jacket, do you know what Egypt means? I'm going to show you what Egypt means, sir. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which has brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So, brother in the blue, what does Egypt mean? Brother in the blue across the street, what does Egypt mean? Read it slowly, again. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what does Egypt mean? Egypt means what? You don't know? It means bondage, slavery, bondage. He brought us out. So I'm showing you this in Deuteronomy, where the Lord says we will go into slavery again. But right here in this day, we're in slavery and captivity. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. How do we get over here? Brothers and sisters, come around, find out who you are according to the scriptures. Look at the sign, find out who you are, where, you, where your heritage is right here. If you're so-called Judah, on down. Look at the 12 tribes of Israel, find out who you belong, who your father is. And this is the seed that you belong to. Again, with Egypt, again with what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Because our first bondage wasn't by ships. But this bondage that we came in later is by ship. We came over here and changed. You see this, brothers and sisters? We came over, we came over here and changed. We understand, some of us understand this history. Some of our young people have forgotten. They do not know and they were not taught by, their, taught by their parents. So they don't know their history. So again, we came over here again, read it from the top, just for you guys. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. We came over here with ships. Do you know that, brother? That we came over here in ship on ships? The Lord said this in the Bible in Deuteronomy 28, that we came over here in ships, sister. We all came over here in ships. We are part of the 12 tribes of Israel. If your name, if you can find your, your nationality on that board, these are the 12 tribes that the Lord is coming back for. Excuse me? All oh, praise. And what, what about you, sis? You don't know? You don't know your nationality right here? Okay. Well, your, your soul will bear witness as to what you are. Again, read it from the top so everybody can hear. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. So this is in Deuteronomy 28. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt not see it no more again. That's saying we're not going to see our homeland no more again. Because the Lord has put curses on us. The Lord put out curses on us because we broke his laws and commandments. This is why you're seeing all this chaos going on. The Lord is causing this to get us to come back to his laws and commandments. The Christian church tells us we get the laws done away with, but that's a lie. And this is why the Lord is punishing us because we went away from his laws and commandments. And we don't keep the laws and commandments. So the Lord said, I will curse you until you do come back. Right. And those that don't will be totally destroyed. This is what you're seeing going on today. Our people are running rabid. They will be destroyed in these streets if they don't come back to these laws and commandments. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There we were sold to our enemies. You ask this, who was our, who was our enemies? The people that put us into this bondage are our enemies. They didn't put the, 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 us in this bondage because they're our friends. Nobody put us in this condition because of our friends. But again, this is up the most high's doing. And they, he's just using these so-called white people to put us in this condition. He just used them. But he did this. The Lord did this because we refused to come back to his laws and commandments. Read. And ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So this is the Lord talking. What group of people were sold into slavery for bond? Slave men and slave women. What group of people are they? What group? What, 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 huh? Well, well, you call them newbie? Okay, okay. Well, you can say that because it means black. The same thing. The black, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans was put in this condition because they broke God's laws. If you look at this right here, you will find that you see also so-called, I mean, you see so-called Indians, all right, which are called by the name of Gad if you see them on this sign. Okay? All right, that's good, brother. Come up and find out who you are according to this Bible. You have so-called Indians. You have so-called Mexicans that are here on this sign right here. You look at the sign right here. Look at the chains that were put around our necks. Look at that. You see that? That wasn't done to any other people but the Most High God's people, the Israelites. That's right. Nobody can make claims. So you can't come around here and say uh, the Chinese are part of God's kingdom, uh, uh, the so-called Germans, the Italians. None of those people are. These 12 tribes is who the Lord is coming back for in the last days. And we have to understand that. But we must first do this. Come back to the laws and commandments of God and faith in Jesus Christ. That's what we have to come back to. And this is why we're in this condition. Because the Lord said he would put us in this condition. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 15. I'm going to take your time. I'm going to take my time and break it down to you so you can get it. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to just ask you back and forth. What question do you have? That's a good question, sis. We're going to show you this. Because a lot of our people, that's a great question. The sister asks, how do you identify your heritage through your mother or through your father? Or well, we're going to show you what the law of God says about this in the scriptures. All right, you got it? Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together. So this is Moses assembling the children of Israel together in the wilderness. This is the backdrop of what's going on right now today so that you can understand what's going on then will be going on now. Read. On the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. He said they declared their pedigrees after their families. Now it's going to get right to the point. Hold on. It's going to get right to the point, brothers and sisters, as to what that means. They declared their pedigree. What is a pedigree? What is a pedigree, sir? Do you know? Lineage. Lineage. That is correct. Lineage. 
Lineage, again, read it from the top so we get to understand it slowly. And they, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So that's a misnomer you get from all these other nations that tell you your lineage comes through your mother. This is why we, a lot of our blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans revere mothers instead of fathers. Your seed, the seed of the man, is what makes your lineage. It what produces your nation. The seed of the father, not the mother. That's right. Not the mother. Not the mother. So we have to get that straight. So right now, like I said, we're showing you right now. We're going to go to back to Deuteronomy 28, 15. We're going to show you what the Lord did to us because we broke his laws. This is what happened. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So it shall come to pass. That's a future tense preference, reaching out to the future. It shall come to pass. That means it's going to come. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. So he said, if you will not hearken. Brother, what does hearken mean? Well, yeah, but you're getting ahead of it, but hearken. Well, yeah, yeah. Let's say hearken. Okay. Uh, if you hearken, that means you... What? I read it slowly again. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. That's right. You will not hearken. You're not listening. You're not hearing. You're not trying to follow the voice. The voice of the Lord thy God. Read that from the top. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do. So it says observe to do. So again, when they saying observe to do, that's key. You That means you're making an a effort, a sincere effort, observing. You looking to do it. You know, when you observe something, you're looking at it. You're observing to do what? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. What? All? All his commandments. Just a little bit. All his commandments. No, some. All his commandments. We have to do all his commandments. Because a lot of our brothers and sisters, the blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans, oh, I can't do all that. I ain't going to do all that. Because we're rebellious people. And this is why we're in the condition that we're in. Because we will not do the laws of God. Read. And his statutes which I command thee this day. So this is Moses telling the children of Israel again to do the laws of God. Because if we don't, there's going to be a problem. And we're going to find out what those problems are going to be. We're going to show you written here in the Bible in Deuteronomy 28 that the Lord said he would do these things to us right now in this time. The Bible is a living Bible. It's for this time. That's why we have it as a guide. That's why we use it to teach our people so that they can understand how they can return to the laws and commandments of God. Read. That all these curses. Curses. He said what? That all these curses. All these uh, infractions. That all these curses. All this pain. That all these curses. He's saying curses. So curses are what? Right. All praises. These are curses of the Most High God. It's come to all praises, sir. All praises. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah, that's and that's what we out here to do. The brother said it. We're out here warning our people regarding the laws of laws and commandments of God and their transgressions, their sins against God. They're breaking the laws against God. Brothers and sisters at the gas station, come over. Here, here to understand the laws and commandments of God. Do not run away at this time because destruction is coming. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord identified curses is going to overcome us if we did not come out of this sin. If we did not follow his laws and commandments. He's going to identify several many things in this Bible that's going to happen to us today. Not tomorrow, but today and further on until we keep his laws. Read. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. So all of us know it. 
have an idea what that might mean. Read it again slow. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So again, we can identify ourselves when we see who is actually cursed in this land. Is it the so-called white man? Is it the so-called Japanese man? Is it the Arab? Is it the so-called Chinese? Who is cursed? Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. In these cities you can find in any area, any major city in the United States, in the world where our people are, they are cursed. They are cursed. And why are they cursed? Why are they cursed, sir? That's right. Because we're not obeying the commandments. This is why you see what's going on in this land as far as this applies to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're getting shot in the street, right? We're living in poverty, right? Absolutely. The brother said it. We put ourselves in the condition that we're in because we did not obey God's laws. I'm glad you said that, brother. And that's what we're trying to teach our people today, that's to right. understand this thing so that they can return back to the laws and commandments of God and therefore be saved and keep these commandments and keep going and teach their family and teach their friends. This is what we teach. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So not only are we cursed in the city where you see all this crime, you see all this destruction, you see all this filth, where everybody else has beautiful lawns and homes and gardens and all these things, but in the inner city where the so-called blacks and Hispanics live, it's filth, it's garbage. The homes are dilapidated, destroyed, breaking down, roofs falling in, fog dropping out. All these types of things are happening because the Lord said this would happen to us because we broke his laws and commandments. This is a thing that is going on because we did not do this. Read. Well, cursed in the field. Again, our people came over here and did what? We were cursed in what? And what did we do in those fields? We worked. What did we what is that that we did right there? We picked cotton. Absolutely. They made us pick cotton. Uh, well, that's good. But the idea is the Lord brought this on us. The Lord did this. He made us serve in the fields. Hard bondage. Today, our people still serve in the field, kicking crops for little or no money. They might get a little pay, but it's not the pay they deserve for with the hard labor that they did. You see this. The so-called the so-called Hispanics, Mexicans, so-called. Our, our brothers and sisters, they were put in the field today to pick corn, to pick cabbage, tobacco, everything, sugar cane. We did all of this. All our people did all of this because the Lord said that I would do this to you in your sins because you broke my laws and you refused to come back. Come back and understand what has happened to us. All right? Give me uh, sons and daughters. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters. What sons and daughters are you, is he talking about? What sons and daughters were given to another people? Who did that? Well, who gave our sons and daughters to another people? I'm talking about physically. No, we're not people. The people that did what to us? That did what? That's right, they tortured us and they did what? I'm looking for a word. That B word that we talked about earlier when we talked about Egypt. Bondage. Bondage. Captivity. Slavery. All of those are the same thing. Just different words. They put us in bondage. That's what we are today. Although we don't have a chain around our neck, we got a chain around our mind. And that chain should be, will be thrown off, the mental condition. The mental condition that we're in will be thrown off by keeping God's commandments and faith in Jesus Christ and coming back and doing what the Lord said do. We'll be released from all this understanding, all this wickedness that we're down trodden by, that, the, that we feel depression by, that we're feeling this thing that we don't know what's going on and we're confused. 
all of that will be released and gone because we'll come back to the love and commandments of God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.